So Dean was asking us to highlight some of the challenges what we have been uh, noticing when doing our work related to education in emergencies. And I think that one of the biggest challenges what I would like to raise here is that uh, in emergency situation, we really easily focus on numbers, donors, but also us as implementing organizations and humanitarian actors. We are so much interested on quantity. We are counting how many temporary learning spaces we have been constructing, how many education material packages we have been de delivering and so on. And this uh, quantity discussion is really creating a lot of pressure, for example, to the reporting processes. And personally, I think that we should not forget quality aspect of education. I believe that the quality can be on board starting from day one, also in education in emergencies programs. And I would like to now share with you one example from Nepal. It will take maybe a couple of minutes. I was working in Nepal in 2015 after the massive earthquakes. I was working there with Finchurch Aid. And what was really unique about education in emergencies program in Nepal was that the government of Nepal was really prioritizing the quality of education. When we had our first education cluster coordination meeting, government made decision that our education in emergencies program will include the quality component, and it will actually include three things. The first thing is building temporary learning spaces. The second thing is uh, distributing education, uh, emergency education materials and providing training to teachers how to use these materials. And the third thing was psychosocial support component. And I think that we made really good results in Nepal because all these uh, three things, three ideas were shared between the government and NGOs national level NGOs and international NGOs already in the beginning. And I think that that was one, one of the reasons why we got really good results in Nepal. And maybe here in the end, I would like to highlight another one, another uh, challenge, which is actually related to this quality education approach. At the moment, we have very little research, which has been done about quality aspects of education in emergencies. And I know that there are maybe some researchers here at the moment, and I would really like to encourage you to think about this, this topic, because I think that education in emergencies programs would really benefit from monitoring and evaluation tools, and that would help us to showcase the importance of quality of education even in the middle of emergencies. Thank you.